Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Lewis right here. Very, very excited about this one. Now, in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at how the installation process looks for the uh, new operating system. Although it hasn't been released officially, this is going to happen on June 24th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and just take a quick look at how the installation process looks for this particular operating system. This is Windows 11. This is the leaked version of the OS, all right? Now, I am not going to go ahead and provide you any download links. I'm not going to provide you any uh, ISO images or anything like that, all right? This video is only for educational purposes. That way you can go ahead and see the way the build looks, all right? Now, right here, right off the bat, the graphic user interface looks identical as if you were installing Windows 7, Windows 8.1, or even Windows 10, okay? A lot of that hasn't really changed much right there. You have your language to install, time and currency, keyboard input, all right? So we just go ahead and click next right there, install now. Okay, now this is where we can go ahead and select the operating system, okay? It has all the versions of Windows 11. As you can see, they're all 64-bit. And right here, this is when the date was modified of the uh, particular operating system, right? This was modified on June 30th, 2021. And you have Windows 11 Home, Windows Education, Windows 11 Pro, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pick that version. It's Windows 11 Pro 64-bit, all right? Go ahead and click Next. And then you have to go ahead and accept the terms next and then right here this is where, where you can go ahead and configure your partition all right we'll just go ahead and leave it as is and then we'll go ahead and click next all right now this is where the uh, installation process is going to go ahead and begin all right so i'm going to go ahead and speed up the process here really quick and the uh, i'm sorry i'm going to go ahead and speed up the video and i'll be back here shortly all right but you you're still going to be able to see the way it looks all right All right, now this is where the uh, interesting part comes in, all right? Because this is where, where we're going to be able to go ahead and configure the the uh, operating system to whatever settings you want to go ahead and pick, all right? Now, all right, we'll just go ahead and leave that right there as is. The country or region, yes. And then right here, the uh, input of the uh, keyboard, yes. Do we want a second one? No, skip that. So you can see the uh, graph, you know, graphic user interface looks a little different right here. Now, at the beginning, it looked pretty much identical as if you were installing another operating system from the past, like Windows 7, 8.1 or 10. But right here, it does look a little different. As you can see that. OK, now right here, it's checking for for updates now. All right. Now, right here is asking us, how are we going to be able to use the operating system? OK now we can go ahead and use it for our personal use or if you have a work or school license or id okay we're gonna go ahead and pick uh, personal use next and then right here if you have your outlook account this is where you you're gonna be able to go ahead and put that that way you can you know have your email and all of that and for the microsoft store and linked into your email okay but if you want to use it with the uh, offline option which we're going to go ahead and do that for the sake of this tutorial okay you just go ahead and click that right there where it says sign in options or i'll go ahead and go back if you don't have an email account you can go ahead and create one right there okay so we'll go ahead and click right there where it says sign in options and then right here just go ahead and click that right there offline account and then right here it it wants you to go ahead and use your email address but for the sake of this tutorial i'll I'll go ahead and click the option of limited experience. Your name, we'll just go ahead and put that right there. Lewis. Password. There we go. And then right here, we have to pick the security questions, all right? 
All right, right after we pick our security questions, it's going to ask us for, you know, privacy privacy settings for your device. All right, but you know, as for now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything as it is. All right, just go ahead and click accept. And there we go. It's checking for a couple of updates and whatnot, okay? So, it should be ready here within a few seconds or so. all right so there you have it you have windows 11 fully installed now okay now i am gonna go ahead and show you real quick look at that right there just go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and show you right there there we go as you can see right there it says uh that's the os build right there that's the number okay and then as you can see that right there it's windows 11 pro operating system okay so that's the uh the new leak version of windows 11 right there coming at you so i definitely wanted to go ahead and show you guys the uh, installation process and right off the bat i see a few differences from all the uh, previous operating systems all right as you can see right here the uh, start button is right in the middle of the taskbar rather than being over here in the left hand side as all the uh, previous operating systems you can see that right there start menu looks pretty clean and um, I actually like it pretty neat actually and then another difference that I see in the uh, Windows Explorer right there your folders you know your directories have color you know that's something that you know that's a cool feature right there and you know your videos have like the video logo right there and then you can see that right there you know the music right there has like the uh, music note right there all right so that's another cool feature you know that i see right here in this new operating system you know but i'm not going to go ahead and get into all the features that's going to be for a different video all right so definitely want to go ahead and show you guys installation process of this one so there you have it as promised so thanks a lot for checking out my channel please go ahead and like and subscribe and i'll check you out in a different tutorial